So another thing that gets brought up for me all the time, um, you know, people don't know what my total is, what my free is. Now they do after on the day eight. But my estradiol, estradiol. Estradiol. My estradiol, my which, estrogen. Which is the major active estrogen. Right, which is what uh, testosterone is converted into when your body can no longer use it in the layman's terms. That's, that's basically what's happening, right? Like when you have a peak dose. Uh, so, so it's interesting. Explain that to us. Yeah, yeah. The pathway which makes testosterone starts at cholesterol. And people don't realize this. Cholesterol has this bad name. Oh, you shouldn't have a high cholesterol. Um, cholesterol is an essential precursor to your steroid hormones. Mm. And so from, from cholesterol, you go to DHEA, which is dihydroepiandrostenodione. Exactly. To testosterone, <laughs> which then gets broken down to estrogen. And so one of the side effects, I know you're aware of this, and, and I think bodybuilders who who use high doses of testosterone, right. experience the side effect of a very high estrogen. Right. Your body will get rid of, uh, break down testosterone, and in the process, there'll be a, a bump in estrogen. So briefly about estrogen, estradiol, this is a, thought of as a female hormone, right? right? So for women, you would have estrogen, you know, certain, depending on your cycle, right. it could be in the hundreds. But for guys, if your estrogen gets too high, artificially perhaps propped up by the fact that you might be on very high testosterone levels. Right. Uh, you know, people have gynecomastia, which is the development of man boobs. Or as the internet um, would refer to them, bitch tits. Ah, uh, okay, I'm a physician, I can't go there. You can't go there, but that's but, what everyone calls them. Okay, well, whatever. Um, you know, and if that's really happening to you. And that's the development of, of breast tissue. Actual breast tissue. Right, usually it Not starts within, fat. within the nipple, correct? Right, right underneath it's the like nipple. It's like a mass, you can feel it. You have it. a mass, this is the development of a breast, this is what uh, some guys get this naturally during puberty. Sure. When you go through puberty, you, for males, your testosterone shoots way up. Your estrogen, therefore, goes a right. little bit up. Right. And you can develop little breast buds. Right. What people overlook, though, is that estrogen for men has huge value. It has value in, in brain function. It has value in heart protection. Right. So it's good I, for your joints as well, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Good for immune yep, system. It's good for your immune system. So I think it's a mistake unless you're suffering from, you know, side effects, the, the huge side effects like breast tissue or something like that. What are the more mild side effects to look out for? I mean, I I, I've heard water gonna, retention is I one think of them. Water that... retention, weight gain and mood, perhaps. If, mm. But, but it, uh, the mood can actually be it can be helpful as well. So it's like, fine, it's like a fine line. It just depends. If you use an estrogen blocker, and I have to confess, I don't have a lot of experience with this. Like an aromatase inhibitor? Something like that. You're going to negate the beneficial effects of the estrogen, which is part of the benefits of being on hormone therapy. So, so really, in, in your opinion then, being on an AI like a Rimidex, for example, is only truly necessary if you are in really, really high, excuse me, if your range, if you're way blown out and you're seeing side effects. You know, I'm not an expert on it, so I really can't speak to it specifically. Well, thanks, would, thanks for nothing then. Yeah. <laughs> I would think <laughs> if your testosterone levels are so high that you're having very high estrogen levels, the first step might be to lower your testosterone right, levels. Right, that makes sense. Rather than just blocking the estrogen gotcha. and keeping your testosterone artificially so high, I, I don't think that's healthy. Right. Uh, but there's probably a small subset of folks who actually are on physiological doses of testosterone and maybe are having estrogen side effects. That those folks might be a candidate for an estrogen blocker. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so one more thing to say about the estrogen. Since it's, it's at the top of the range on day eight, where do you imagine I'm living? Um, like, you know, some people, what if some, if some people might look at this and say, well, if you're already at the very high end of the range on day eight, given that my testosterone on day eight is, is right where we want it, it's a sweet spot, does this fall right into the argument that you just said? Like, don't even worry about it. I mean, we're not going to be blowing this into the hundreds and high hundreds. If it's, I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, you certainly could draw a level on day one at some point. Day two or something, see or where we're at. Day two and yeah. see, where you, see where things are at. Um, you know, that, that's, that's the whole tricky part of doing the shots, which are once weekly or, one, or once every other week. Right. Is there any, those huge spikes, those spikes and, and, those and valleys. Valleys, but, right. Um, you know, you're not having symptoms. Not that I know. So not I that think I can you're tell. okay. Okay, I think I'm okay too. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's get into FSH. I don't even know what, what okay. you know, what's important about that. stimulating hormone, whether okay. it's FSH or LH, which is luteinizing hormone that's measured, these are... Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake! <laughs> Sweetheart? Jess? 
hey, can I call you back? We're in the middle of a shoot. No, it's not your fault. I should put my phone on silent. I'll call you right back. All right, love you. Bye-bye. Super professional. Okay, FSH, tell us about it. Let, let me know. Okay, so the anterior pituitary in your brain makes FSH, follicle-stimulating hormone, and LH, luteinizing hormone. These are the stimulation hormone messages that go to the testicles for guys and say, you know, make sperm make testosterone, mm. okay? And so when you are on testosterone replacement therapy, that testosterone goes back to the pituitary through your bloodstream, and the pituitary goes, oh, we have plenty of testosterone. Got it. Stop making LH and FSH. So I presume your results are fairly low. Yeah, they are fairly low. The range is 1.4, uh, top of the range 11.2. I was 0.6 for my FSH, and for my LH I was 0.2, range being 1.7, 8.6. Right. So low. So, so you're suppressed, and uh, which is to be expected. That's to be expected. And it's nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. The only thing to be aware of: uh, testosterone replacement therapy is not birth control. Right. But, and I know you haven't. I believe you haven't gone and gotten a sperm count. No, I need but to. But if you were to do that, your sperm count would likely be very low. Right. Because your FSH and LH are so low, there's no stimulation. The message is not getting to the testicles. And, and those two, are that's directly correlated. That's the message. Okay. It goes to the testicles. So fertility. Make more sperm. Got it. And that's right. so, in, in sense of mood, there's not a whole lot to look at here. That's why it's, you don't hear people talking about FSH being low, treating that. It's just a simple cause and effect. Exactly. Right. Okay. Cool. Uh, what about T3? My T3 is, it was 4, the range being 2.3 to 4.2 picograms per ml. How are we doing on T3? So... Thyroid function, your thyroid gland sits right here on your neck okay. and makes TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. Sorry, TSH comes from the pituitary, All right. goes down to your thyroid and tells your thyroid to make T3 and T4. It's your free T3 and your free T4 that is your active hormone. Okay. And you would like those to be on the higher end of normal. So yours is on the high end of normal. Right. Perfect. Which is good. And you, did you have a free T4 as and my, well? My free T4 was 1.2, the range being 0.7 to 1.5. Perfect. So that's... that's and, the... and you are not on thyroid hormones. No. No. So your thyroid is doing perfect by itself. No intervention needed. Wonderful, doctor. Thank you so much. Um, prolactin. My prolactin was 14.1, range being 1.6 to 18.8. Um, what is prolactin? Is it anything so to consider? So prolactin is is not a is not a test you're going to need to keep doing. Okay. Uh, people who have hormone levels, uh, if it's your first time you're having your blood work done, uh, that is another pituitary hormone. So this is um, this is confirming that my pituitary is, is fine. Is functioning because uh, you can have a pituitary tumor that can result in shutting down the pituitary, having low testosterone as a result of right. not having any FSH, LH, right, right, right. and stimulation. But I don't think that's a level you need to keep following. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Um, so the last thing we'll go, last couple things we'll go over in regards to my hormones, my blood work. Um, let's go over the sex hormone binding globulin, SBG, SHBG. SHB, sex hormone binding globulin. Sex hormone binding globulin. Let me just quickly say right off the bat that mine was 6.3. Yes. The range is 11 to 80. Uh, I appear to be below, below so, the normal range. So that's, a, that's an interesting finding, actually. Is it? It is. Uh, I don't, off the top of my head, know of anything you can do to change your sex binding globulin hormone level. This mm. is just the way it is. One very interesting fact, as I discovered... More and more young men, and I have, um, I've found in the last couple of years over 100 people who are, you know, young men, late teens, low testosterone. Right. And this was a puzzle to me because this seems to be new. This seems to be uh, underappreciated. And I, and I met an old professor guy who knows biochemistry. He knows toxins, hormones, biochemistry. I said, why am I seeing this? And he said, oh, I can tell you right away. Because I was, at first I thought... Why are we seeing... Uh, the t low testosterone in uh -oh. young men. Are because we, we going to say with this back I'm to the... I'm coming back to sex binding globulin. Okay. Okay. So he says, oh, I'll tell you right away. Toxins like herbicides and pesticides will lock up your sex binding globulin hormone, sex hormone binding globulin, sorry. That's okay. I and, forgive you. You're good. And therefore trick the body into thinking it has enough testosterone oh. and, and you don't, you know, the message isn't getting to the pituitary 
make send the message for more testosterone. And so you're fine. You're falling because, out of homeostasis with it. Exactly. Right. So so it's all tied in here with with um, your your sex hormone binding globulin hormones, and then the, the the effect that toxins have on our environment. Plastics, for example, BPA is a great endocrine disruptor. They're called. Is this why presumably you know two hundred years ago it would be much less likely to find a man my age with low testosterone? Unheard of. Unheard of. Unheard of. Unless you had something like Kleinfelter syndrome. Or like some sort of you know, test, some, testicle injury, some blunt actually, trauma, something exactly. like that. Exactly. So, so it, it was just almost unheard of. And mm. now we are seeing this. Uh, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Do I need to worry about this number being low? I mean, is this affecting my mood? Should this be higher? Like, I mean, or is this well, something Well, that's that... just a transporter of testosterone. Okay. And so... But given that my testosterone levels are good... You're okay. Hmm. You're okay because so it's like a moot point. It, it is somewhat of a moot point, but I think um, it would be interesting to see what would happen in time if you try to go off of testosterone. What would happen at that level? You're well. You don't have enough transport proteins to carry a lot of testosterone. Mm. So I, I theoretically, I would be screwed. It'll be interesting It'll to be see. Interesting to yeah, see. Well, cross that bridge a different someday, day. Someday, <laughs> when you want fertility back. 